Hey guys and welcome back to the project manga podcast i'm noxy it's your boy kiko eagle we're back with tangential tie-ins this time met with another guest that you guys might remember from a couple other episodes that we've had we got lkf ashes on the mic how you doing bro good ashes is uh the guy who like kind of is in the background that uh kind of handles everything on social media and uh pretty much any other kind of help that we might need we, we reach out to him for that so so thank you very much for for always being a for always being a part of the team in the background there Good to, good, to, good to have you here. What we're going to do is um, a Q&A. So we were thinking of ways to be more interactive or to interact more with our audience. So we decided to uh, reach out on all social media platforms that we're on currently, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, what have you, and uh, kind of ask everybody if they have a theory or a notion or otherwise any other kind of anime or manga related question that they wanted to ask us. And uh, we would address those you know statements or questions you know on the show today and uh give them a shout out so that's one thing that we wanted to do to uh to kind of hang out with you guys a little bit more on camera so uh that's what's going on uh first and foremost check out the link tree in the description that's gonna have our uh all of our social media accounts where you can find us on all of our other online communities including our discord things like that ways to support project manga if you are feeling generous um and yeah ashes is gonna go ahead and feed us the questions from twitter instagram and facebook and uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and and answer those for you guys tonight. Well, so why don't you go ahead and take it away? All right. Well, our first question of the night is more of an administrative one. Uh, we have a question from Twitter. This is from at the derpiest merc. Are there going to be any Discord events coming soon? That's Silvers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Silvers was uh, Silvers was on the the villains episode that we had. And uh, yes, actually, we actually are about to have a Discord event. Um, it's actually a giveaway. So we have we've been talking about it for a while now, but we haven't really said anything about it lately. So this is actually perfect. We actually just advertised this on Twitter like yesterday or the day before, actually. But we got some cold blooded anime figures here. We got this All Might and we got this Luffy jet pistol Luffy. And uh, we actually also have a Sailor Moon figure, but that's over at Ash's house right now. So I'll pull up on him and grab on that pretty soon here. And uh, and we will um, we'll do a giveaway for that inside of our Discord community um, within the next couple of weeks here. So I don't know exactly when we're going to do it, but just join the Discord. Links in the description, like I said. What we're going to be doing is assigning each member with a number, and then we're going to run that through a random number generator three times. And whatever number is chosen, the user or member you know associated with that number will win one of these three figures. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're gonna. Nice. I'm, I'm, I got some. Uh, so moving on to some more, more normal questions here. I'm gonna start off with one that's a a three parter from uh, from Instagram. We have uh, Mitchie twelve twelve. He has a individual question for each one of you. So I'm gonna start off with uh, Eagle. He asks, "What is your number one waifu of all time?" My number one waifu. <laughs> number one waifu. He already know who it is. <laughs> Yo, it's Mary Oleona from Black Clover. Yeah, that's yeah. I could guess that. that too. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. You already know who it is. Next. I, I was I was I was ready. I was ready to hear that, but I didn't know. I know that she's like the number one bad bitch, but like I didn't know that she was she was on waifu levels for you. That's interesting. That's great though. That's great. Oh, she'll hold you down and she'll fight with you, man. Yeah, dude, that's great. Yeah, that's so that's crazy. all you need. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, can, uh, I guess I, I can move on. She wild in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the kind that, of wild you want. That sounds kind of hot, bro. You might to, be quote, like, to quote the Kings of Leon. Her might sex, get burnt. Her, her sex is on fire. Oh god! <laughs> Literally. Uh, I'm gonna oh, I'm, I'm gonna move on to the the, the next question yeah, from uh, yeah. from Mitchie twelve twelve. We have for Noxy. What is your favorite thing about Hunter Hunter? This might take a while. Sorry. Oh wow! <laughs> My, <laughs> you know, I knew I knew this question was here and didn't think about it at all. Um. My favorite thing about Hunter x Hunter, uh, I mean, uh, off the top of my head, probably my favorite thing is a, is just like the world that they live in, and how it's like ran by like deception and 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 just shystiness, not not wanting anyone to know anything about you until they ab you know until you absolutely can't hide it anymore is huge. Um, like. For example, like everyone is probably lying to you at all times and you have all of these moments where characters are interacting with Gon and Killua and they'll receive information from someone and then one of the characters are rolling with is like, hey, you can't trust that information. You know what I mean? Like I love things like I love that dynamic in the series. 
Um, hiding your ability until the last moment is also incredible. Um, like in the Chimera Ant Saga, when, when uh, what's his name? Frata, the, the satellite Tombow, the, the dragonfly Chimera Ant is, you know, surveilling the the area, you know, where the humans have like kind of invaded the Chimera Ant space. And, you know, they're doing, you know, Frata's doing recon. You know, and he's like, and trying to find out what their net abilities are, hoping that they just use him while his satellite Tombow are out there looking. And he's like, they're only using physical attacks. Like, I don't know. Like, it's been like five days and like they, they just know not to use, you know, Hatsu around us. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, another thing about Hunter that I like a lot is, I, I don't know, and you see it a lot. And I don't know if you really see it a lot, but it's common in the East more so than the West. But like, I like when characters in a, in a series can take like high trauma attacks without really like flinching at it. You know what I mean? Like someone might lose an arm and like their facial expression won't change. I just think that that's really fucking cool in like the anime world. You know what I mean? So you see that a lot, like in the in the uh, in the Hunter exam arc after uh, Gon loses to or after he wins, I guess, technically against Hanzo. But he breaks his arm and then he passes out and then he wakes up and the rest of the Hunter exam is over. And, you know, he gets told about how Killua killed um, that dude. And it was probably, you know, because of Illumi. And so he goes up to Illumi and he grabs his arm and he picks him up from the sitting position and stands him up and he broke his arm. But like Illumi's like just like standing there like expressionless the whole time. And then later on in the scene, he's like, yep, my arm's definitely broken. You know what I mean? Like shit like that, you know, Hell yeah. I, I love I, I love shit like that. But I mean, like deception is probably, you know, the, the deception dynamic is probably my favorite thing about the series. Yeah, that reminds me of I just got to cut in a little bit because yeah. of fucking Hisoka versus Castro at fucking uh, Heaven's Arena yes. where he's misleading him on what his ability is, you know, and he's trying to figure it out. But just the way he used bungee gum was just so cold blooded, you know, yes. that yeah that that's that's i love that misdirection hell yeah misdirection there yeah. we go let that too, I would say that yeah. hisoka is probably the best character for that in hunter hunter i think yeah yeah 100 yeah. my opinion so 100 yeah man all right and then uh finally we have the last question from mitchy 1212 is for kiko and it's martial arts or swordsmanship and why Martial arts or sportsmanship? No, swordsmanship. Swords swordsmanship. Oh, 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 oh. No, they're, 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 coming, they're coming straight at you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, uh, yo. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll say martial arts because, like, I mean, squaring up and just on your own too no yeah. no weapons whatsoever i don't know like no, that's just yeah. how i was raised you know like yeah. that's how we that's how we handle our business in life so it, it, it's so hard for me to say but swordsmanship is just so cold-blooded man like so uh, to give an example like i love where we can mix the two where we got like breaker and we got smiling sword yes where, where he has martial arts without a sword basically that makes him a sword you know yeah so i'm kind of cheating on the question just like an like, extension of his key energy like past his finger is like cutting you yeah. know like cutting you're able to cut shit. yeah yeah, yeah but i mean so i guess if i have to make a firm choice it, it, it's i I'll, I'll roll with luffy over zoro so there we go like i want i want hands you know okay like, okay you know no, <laughs> That Nazi might low key bent. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he said, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that's your answer. Yes, it is. Martial arts wins. Yes. All right. <clears throat> hard well, I'm going to. Very great question. I'm going to. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep with Kiko here and uh, give you a, a personalized question for you. This okay. is from uh, our very own Daya Blue. Blue, you okay. may know from some previous episodes. Ask from from Instagram. Ask. Uh, yes, Kim Kiko explains how Magoi works. <laughs> yeah, I can in a previous video because I I I can't. To be honest, I can't explain how Magoi works. So like. <laughs> I tried for a half hour, forty minutes. You, you might remember oh, it. From yeah, such go go watch the, as <laughs> go watch energy the, system. Yeah, go watch the discussing superpowers in in anime and manga tie-in episode. God, blue. Uh, I mean, up. I'm just gonna long story short it and say there's like two to three energy systems in fucking Magi slash Sinbad, and Magoi is the closest one to like physical key energy. And that's just gonna be my quick answer on that. All right, well, Life. that's quick, quick and quick and to the point. Or body energy, I guess. Actually, they, they cast spells with it too, so I don't know. Mana, yeah, mana pool, energy pool, something like that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a uh, move on to our next uh, Instagram question here. Actually, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in uh, failure. Uh, let me, uh, I'll move on to a, uh, a. This is a 
Facebook question, actually. What This is a general question for all of you. Uh, Zachary Ryan Nystrom from Facebook asks, What are some manga slash animates you guys think are underrated slash slept on or shouldn't have been canceled? Uh, the, last, the last Sayuki. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out last Sayuki. The last Sayuki for sure. Impressively Shout out. coordinated for not being coordinated at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's fresh in our minds, you know, like we had to end the shit with baseball gloves and shit. We were almost it's... going to cover that on the jump show. And like yeah, literally. Were... Shout out Tokyo Shinobi squad. Yeah, oh, Tokyo see? Shinobi squad's out of here too. Oh. Um, that. That shit looks super promising. Uh, I, I only read the first couple chapters, but I mean, like, Eagle was putting caps of, like, the Ninpo and shit, like, in our group chat, and that shit looked gas. So, yeah, it was raw. Yeah. Hell so, yeah, dude. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Um, but the last Sayuki was so good. Um, and, like, up two weeks before we started the series, the show, <laughs> it got canceled. <laughs> and we had to, I think, we, and then we had to replace it, like, last minute, I think, with Juju 2 Kaisen. I think is what it I was. I want to say it was Chainsaw Man. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think. I it thought was. it was yeah, Chainsaw Man. I think, I think Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man is. It, yeah. So for all the, the uh, and that's what I was mad. The beginning. Yeah. I was just, I was just double mad at that time too. It's like, okay, <laughs> y'all, are, y'all are gonna tell me that the one I did like is canceled, and then the one that looks like a fucking most ridiculous manga I ever read in my life is what we're supposed to replace it with. And I was just so <laughs> mad. No, no. Then I read Chainsaw Man, and I, it's and, great. And now but, it's heat. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. what I was gonna ask. Mike. Uh, I was gonna. It's gonna add on to this. Do you guys? Do you guys? Uh. Are you guys happy that Chainsaw Man wound up in there? Or yeah. I think it would have been better well, as Last Sayuki. Yeah, oh, man. man would it be better as that, Last Sayuki? That's it's, a That's too hard of a question that's because we only, got, question. we only got like 17 chapters of Sayuki. There's no telling where it would be. I though. could tell. I think though, it was 20, 20 something. I could tell that, I, that, I could tell that the well, last. A what if episode right now? I, yeah, <laughs> I, could, I could tell that the last Sayuki I probably would have enjoyed more than Chainsaw Man, even though Chainsaw Man is brilliant and I love. Very it's more everything. martial arts. Yeah, art. that yeah, Yoibo combat yeah, was yeah, Yoibo shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was it was just everything then, that I wanted in in a fantasy you know adventure story. You know what I mean? So I yeah. love what Chainsaw Man's doing. It let me know that there are things in manga that I didn't know that I liked. Um, you know, and it's and it's being handled incredibly well by Fujimoto. So I, I have no complaints yeah. there. But yep. personally, I feel like Last Sayuki would would I would be I would enjoy covering it more. Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess I'm also just gonna shout go out ahead. Red Sprite and, oh yeah, uh, Red Sprite, Beast Children. Red Sprite and Beast Children. Rip. <laughs> yeah, Beast Children. Uh, I'm it's gonna rugby manga. Rugby I'm manga. Not, I'm not trying to jinx anything, but it's been a long fucking time since our breaker has been gone, and we have not got our third <laughs> fucking season started. So if that doesn't get fucking picked back up and completed. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pay Korea a visit. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm South Korea. I'm gonna You're have to pulling up to Seoul, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we already got. We already got enough war going on right now. Anyway, <laughs> and, and I, I and honestly, like I doubt it's John Gyuk Jin and Kamaro's fault that that I feel I, I'm like 90% sure, even though there's no confirmation that I've seen anyway. I'm pretty sure it's an editorial mandate from like Naver or like whatever webtoon company is like forcing their hand on this webtoon shit that they're working on right now because you just can't write two seasons of like one of the Gas. best stories ever Heat. and then not want to come back and finish that you know what i mean yeah. like so like gas water electric the whole shit all your bills <laughs> yeah. <laughs> paying all the bills yeah straight up right what, what is he paying all yeah the bills. <laughs> oh you got any more to add to that noxy nah dude all right, I mean, so Hunter, I mean, Hunter could come off oh, a hiatus. Yeah, yeah. Berserk could come off hiatus. You yeah, know? we didn't get a Hunter chapter all year. Last Vagabond's year. never coming well, back, so like that's well, another one too. So uh, this this might answer. So I, I so I, I have two things like actually can trail from that. There are two other questions. Both are from Instagram actually. So okay. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go. With the, the first one since it's right here is from Ivan Siasio from Instagram asks, "When is season three of The Breaker coming out?" Wow. <laughs> well, uh, all right. So, as <laughs> soon as you know, let us know. Yeah, man, exactly. Exactly. I can't. I, I, the way it hurts that, my heart. It's yeah. a it's a missing piece and just missing from my soul right now. Without the breaker, like I, what could fill it? I can can get Ashra right. Like that's what people say. Yes. Yeah, Ken Ganashiro <laughs> uh, apparently is really, really good. Um, Maybe I should pick that up. And and also Baki the Grappler can't go wrong yeah. with that too. But um. The, the, the thing about the thing, the thing about um, the thing about the breaker is that the, what what when we were reading it from week to week in new waves, right? We yeah. got it. We got a note from John Gukjin and Kamaro that said 
once season two ended, they were like, we're taking a break from the breaker to do something light. And what they meant by that was they were going to start a webtoon called Trinity Wonder. And Trinity Wonder ran for, I don't know exactly how many chapters, but it just finished like a couple months ago, I want to say. It's I thought it's under 100, isn't it? I, I think it might be under 100, but they took their damn time <laughs> putting that 100 putting that hundred chapters out. But yeah, um, yeah. Tr Trinity Wonder finished. And then I thought I saw somewhere on Instagram, or maybe it was Twitter, I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was some kind of announcement in Korean that, you know, like like a like a, a screenshot or something of like a Korean page in a magazine or something like that that said, I don't know what it said, but then like the text above it was like the breakers coming back. And I was like, let's go. And I told Kiko, like, it's time, baby. And then and then they and then they came, they started no, it wasn't a, time. It wasn't time. They started another webtoon um instead. <laughs> and <laughs> I can't remember what this <laughs> one's called. Something about an orchid. I don't know, but it, it, it that was heart shattering. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. Maybe I should give these other stories a try. I think I read the first chapter of Trinity Wonder, and they're talking about the Miram and shit. And it actually doesn't look too bad, but and no, you can it, it was. And you can tell it's Camaro's art too. still too. You know yeah. what I mean? So like it's it's. It, it looked fine, but I was just mad that it wasn't the breaker, even though they're talking about Miram yeah. shit. I think it was telling a story about like ancient Miram shit, so like ancient world of martial arts, whereas breaker like is set in like a modern time. Um, but I mean, I just I just didn't do it. Maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe it'll like help to fill that void. But I could also just do Ken Ganasha and Baki too. So yeah, yeah. But that's that's all the information that we have on the breaker season three. Yeah. So it's very insightful. Also, this is also ties into the uh, other question about, you know, underrated and slept on things. But this was a, another Instagram question. It was also probably the question that I was the most hyped about reading all these. But it was Max Frost from Instagram asked, do you think that World Trigger is underrated? I don't know. I haven't read it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've seen caps. I've seen caps from it on Twitter. It looks fine. Um, and people people hold it in high regard. So probably because it doesn't get talked about all that often. I think th I don't think there's that many chapters out for it. I think there's less than 50. Right. So uh, I don't I've, I've only seen the anime, so I'm not oh, sure. There's an anime I already. There's like a there's an, oh, it's been an anime. It's the, the anime is like it's not, that, was that the anime, anime first. The anime is like three years old and ended and <clears throat> it's very good. Yeah, they didn't. They, they just announced season two of it. I'm sorry. How I'm many like, episodes? I'm hype. It's like it's really weird. It ends in the middle of a fucking arc, and it ends in the middle of a storyline. It doesn't finish the storyline, and it's really frustrating. So, <laughs> wait a minute. But so, it's like it's what, like 123 episodes or something like that, bro. <laughs> or wait, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm not thinking of World Trigger. Then maybe I'm thinking of. Uh... I think, like I think I think I'm thinking of Twin Star so, Exorcist. So, so so some of you guys might. So I I, I kind of figured that you guys might not be uh, as familiar with this one. But, Why? Uh, so well, I, <laughs> so I talked to you guys about anime and yeah. manga a lot, and yeah. I've never heard you guys talk about it. Yeah, I'm just fucking. And I with figured you, if you had seen it or read it, you would know. You would be talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, How's the action? It's really good, but like it, the way it ends is like in the anime is like really annoying because it's like in the middle of an arc. But, how's like, that? How's the story's the, pretty good. How's the action? I think the action is really good. It's it's a lot more. Is there an energy system? It's there's kind of an there is an energy system. Is it like weapon based? Like is there energy system? Yes, it's weapon, weapon. Like it's a weapon Kami based. Yeah, like yeah. like everyone has like their own type of weapon that they use, and like it's like very like tactical based. So it's like a, it's it's a very oh. smart anime basically. Love that. It's a lot like it, it reminded mean, me a lot I'm, of. I'm gonna how, keep like, it. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you, bro. Like if I'm gonna do this story, it's probably gonna be in manga form. So if the anime is trash, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Manga, that's like, fine. Just tell me. Like, do you read the, the anime? Manga? Is, I don't think the anime is trash. I just think the. I think that it. I don't know how. I don't know why they decided to produce it the way they did. Like for for its length. Yeah, I think the anime is good. But I've, I, I mean, like I've also heard good things about the manga itself too. So like, I, I would suggest it. Sorry, that's okay. my no, that's, that's my hype thing. Yeah, that's good. It's on the list, man. It could you be know? underrated. It sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, as far as underrated goes, I mean, that sounds yeah. cool. And I hear. I also people, like the way it looks. It looks I, nice. Yeah, too. I hear people holding it in high regard on the internet. So like, I don't know. You know, why. I would say it's. I would say it definitely falls in the slept on category. Good. Okay. It was in the, I did see some things for it in the show in Jump Store when I was in Japan though. Okay. Okay. Do you know what do you know what do you know what magazine it's coming out of? Is it Jump? I think it's I'm pretty sure it's Jump. I would assume so if it's in the if they had Jump stuff oh, in the store. But yeah, you did so just say it, that. But I've never but seen it like hmm. it's probably over or it's not yeah, maybe. being published anymore. I don't know. Something like that. I, I don't know what happened with that. I need to look into it myself, honestly. Okay. I know they announced a new season of the anime, but yeah. Okay, okay. All anyway. Right. So it's like, so yes, it's underrated people. We have Jake Harris from Facebook asks, Blackbeard's ability to have two devil fruit. What are your thoughts on that? Like as far as how he's able to do it? 
Yeah. How does he yeah. have it? How Maybe is it? How is it a thing? Like that. Yeah. What, what are your opinions uh, on that? Who wants to? You, you want to? Who wants to start on that? Be eagle. Eagle. It's got to be yeah. something to do with his body, right? Like that's what Marco said, right? Yeah, he's got a strange body, and then you got the example of in in uh, Jaya when when Luffy and Zoro say the thing about how he it's not him, it's it's them. When Nami says something about you know who is that guy or who is he, and they say it's not he, it's it's they. I don't even remember that. I do, and I thought that was more so that they just understood that Blackbeard had a crew there that was watching his back from uh, outside. That's that's kind of how I took it. But people people have speculated exactly what Eagle's saying before that that wasn't meeting him and his crew. That's meeting him and I don't know a multiple personality present. or a multiple. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always like the just, idea. It, oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Well, I just think if it was the yummy yummy fruit that allowed him to do it, like there's been kind of a he knew about it through the the devil fruit book right and yeah. so it's you know people have known about it for a long time and if that was one of the abilities you would think that maybe you know they would know about it i mean yeah. blackbeard would Much he's like he's like the, the devil fruit fanboy like you know you like, would think that would be in the book and everybody would know about it oh yeah you know, so, well, who's, like, do we know like who's all read well, the book? No, so remember, I had the uh, I had a theory on that 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 book was compiled by Rox, yeah, fucking, and and that Rox was the original user of the Yami Yami, yeah, and and that it was maybe purposely omitted from the book, or no, 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 it was in the book because no, uh, Blackbeard says that he knew what Devil Fruity wanted because he had that book, yeah, um, so yeah, I I still. It's hard well, no, to remember. I, I like what Eagle was saying, though, about, you know, multiple people, because think about it. If he never sleeps, maybe two different personalities. One's asleep in his body at all times. That's why he doesn't have to sleep, because one's awake while one's sleeping at all times. They, they like switch that. or or like That'd not even not. not even actually like personality switch, just like, I don't know, you know, like because it, it never seems like Blackbeard's personality ever switches. Right, right. Like, he's, right. Always, he's, he's always yeah, the same right. guy. So, I mean, maybe it's just like. Well, I mean, you could maybe so he's, when, so he's Cavendish when he's Cavendish. when he's cowardly and rolling around on the ground and shit. Maybe that's that other personality, and then other times he's fucking hard body talking that good shit. Like, what's up? Yeah, right here, that scar is looking good on you, my guy. <laughs> I always, uh, you know I, I, I always like the idea, like kind of eagle, like kind of touched on where like the gravity aspect of the Yami Yami no Mi is like keeping the devil essences separate inside of him because he does have a black hole type you know move inside inside of the yami yami so and which is obviously just like straight gravity so it's like Karozu. yeah if it's if, it, if, if it's something like that i think that it would be pretty cool otherwise there's some other theories out there that like i think there was one super crazy theory that he already has like a third devil fruit and it's like a mythical zoan like cerberus type and like the three heads each like hold one of the the devil essences and like keep them separated that's why it has three skulls on his jolly roger that's why he's got three pistols that's why uh, the Zebic, uh, his 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 ship is like spit like a, a Zebic type sailing ship is specifically a three mast ship. Yeah, um, I remember like I was clowning though. I had I had kind of a troll fucking theory that uh, his devil fruit, his first devil fruit, he actually ate, and why he doesn't sleep is a fucking trash panda, the raccoon fruit, because that <laughs> way he can he can he can recycle and eat eat other fruits, eat dirty ass dead half dead eaten fruits and oh, survive shit. off them, and oh. he don't he don't ever sleep. <laughs> you know, I don't, what the fuck? I, yeah. don't, I, don't, I, was, I was definitely trolling. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought y'all remember that. I thought we were clowning about that. I, oh. I, I must have been absent. Oh, man, <laughs> I got cooler friends somewhere else I talked to. <laughs> I forgot about that. Wow. <laughs> anyway, great question. Right, great, uh, great question, Jake. Let's uh, let's let's, let's move on. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it going with the One Piece. We're gonna move on to Twitter though. It's at Sword Sword and Justice. Final War. All major players are present. If Luffy ends up in a troubled spot, do you think Garp continues his neutral stance, or does he protect Luffy like he didn't protect Ace and betray the world government? Can you say this one more time? <clears throat> Final war. Great question. All major players are present. If Luffy ends up in a troubled spot, do you think that Garp continues his neutral stance, or does he protect Luffy like he didn't protect Ace and betray the world government? Garp's definitely gonna hold. The Garp's gonna say fuck it at that point. He's yeah, not gonna. He he's to. not letting that shit happen twice, bro. No, hell no. And you could tell that, like, at, when it happened in the Summit War, that he was like, "What am I doing?" You yeah. know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah. He's had it. <laughs> Especially in a situation yeah. like that. He's not watching that twice, bro. I think by that time he will have chosen the the other side, you know, and Yeah, he might be going and, into that I mean, war not fucking with, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the Navy at all anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Send the <laughs> time, time they'll show the will of D. Yeah, I know. It's it's, it's it's so hard to see Garp not holding Luffy down at yeah. the end. You know, like, even though he didn't do it for Ace, uh, I mean, just, I don't know. Like, I, I couldn't imagine, especially after the beat from Dadan, you know, and the whole Dadan fucking shit, you know. Yeah. It's, it's too hard to see that. Although I do think if it was the first time around again, like, if you put Luffy in Ace's spot at Marineford, I think he does let let it happen i don't think so still ace isn't his grandson and it's, yeah. it's he essentially it's a, is though man he raised him from a fucking baby yeah not a baby but a child a young a very young child in his blood though you know what i'm saying and i don't know man <laughs> i don't know yeah, I, I you're right you're right I, he you're probably yeah through. he's probably letting he's probably letting it happen to i mean like if i really sat and thought about it i'd probably be with you there eagle but I just think plot armor. You know, I got it. You gotta like. You <laughs> yeah. gotta get. You gotta get plot armor out of the fucking. You know, yeah. like, that's that's meta shit. Yeah, <laughs> answer from your heart. Like yeah, man. Dude. But yeah, the second time around, no final war. I don't think he's no. He's gonna... no. Yeah, Garp's, Garp's, Luffy Garp's and... going crazy in the. Final hey, war hey, on the tell me side. how crazy it'd be with like Luffy and Garp standing back to back, both about to try to square <laughs> off, bro. I'll shit on myself, dead bro, ass. Old popping off work. level three. Hey, Damn, that comes out while I'm at work and I need a new diaper at work. Bro. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, it depends. <laughs> depends. <exactly. laughs> uh, we're gonna move on to our next question, which comes from. A lovely person, maybe yours truly, at Love Kid and Fight asks, What are your favorite Paxio artifacts from Negima? Ooh. That's a kicko question. I uh, know, no, 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 you know one. I, you know at least one. That you, ah, oh, man. You don't, you don't remember what Kufei's is? She's got Ruyi Jingu Bang. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I do remember I, that. I remember that's my favorite. That. Yeah, I, was like, I remember. I remember sending you caps when that shit first came out. And I was like, like "Ooh, mm-hmm." Or not Sun like, Wukong. Kong. But it was so cool. It. it was so cool that, she, that she's like a female, like Sun Wukong. You know what I mean? I feel like. I feel like I've I've never seen that you know before. Well, and she does Chinese kenpo, and yeah. she wore like all the Chinese dresses. You know, it was yeah, definitely yeah. Chinese theme, so yeah. it's it super sick. But uh, that's that's like a really hard one. Like Kaede has like um, the cloak, like owl's cloak, basically. But like she could use it for stealth or to like just make. I mean, I guess it's kind of different. She, she would make shit disappear that could be material. Whereas Owl, Owl's cloak, like he put that shit in the cloak. It was like a container. You know what I'm talking about? Owl from Hunter, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that, in his but, mantle. Uh, in his mantle. Yeah. 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 And, and Kaede has something really similar to that. Um, that's, that's pretty sick. Uh, fucking, then Chacha, not, not Chacha Maru, but it's Chacha Maru is fucking from, from UQ. That's the, that's the robot. But they're, Chacha oh, wait, Zero? No, 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 no. Chacha Zero is, but Chacha Maru from she doesn't get uh, a pack tail i'm thinking of the com- the, the computer girl i'm trying uh chow she- chow no 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 not chow lingshin chow lingshin Ka- is Kaede, the one- Kaede, Kaede. not kaede kaede's a ninja it's the fucking girl with the glasses who who does all the hacking you sure you read this bro <laughs> oh uh, i'm sorry uh it's, it's like chiwase or something Ch- like chisame, that. Chisame, chisame. okay and she has like fucking uh outer like a, a satellite or whatever that fucking shoots a laser out of fucking you oh know, well like, that's it then baby bang bang pew pew i don't remember her fucking thing ever <laughs> yeah no that was like see that's the thing with negima a lot of people got pactios right at the end and they didn't like get time to shine and they just had like one the little one-off with yeah. what they did with it that's true um, like like maki has the fucking ribbons <laughs> yeah yeah that's you know like they're just giving them out at that point but uh you like, got the Eunice got the double guns like she's Yuna from fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, FF ten two. Yeah, but you know, Asuna, the main character, gets like a fan at first, and when she like, <laughs> and when she hits you with it, it like cancels your magic because she does like does have uh, the white of Mars. So it's like a magic. And, oh, oh, yeah, I, I know about yeah, the white she's, of Mars. She's Asta. So, so yeah. it's like a, but it's like a magic cancel wind. That's yeah, tight. yeah. Well, so yeah, and but 
Jeez. Or or does she actually hit you physically with it? With physically the with it, and and it's oh, not. It like would have been like way big, tighter if it no, was no, like. No, no, a, no, It's it's not like a big. It's it's not like um. It's a hard Shibari's side. fan from Naruto. It's like a, it's oh. like a. It's like a, in a sword. It's, a, it's it's like a sword she's holding, and then she gets like an actual big sword, which is the same thing too. Like that she could cut you and kill you with it, but she could also like graze you with it and cancel your magic. So mm, that's. that's 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 a that's pretty hard. So I, I think I have to just go with that one because and that's that's his main beef too. You know, you know, he, she's holding him down. Yeah. Fucking Asuna, you know, Asunas are usually good. You know, usually, not every time. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, that's a good that's a good question. Don't shit on don't shit on that Asuna. Yeah, no, no, no. she got she got fucked by the story. I know exactly which Asuna you're talking about. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, sword art. <laughs> Rip. I will remember. <laughs> 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 anyway uh you got one noxy no nah, dude i mean ruyi jingu bang dude i mean i, I read uq dude i didn't read negima so it's That's like true. yeah uh, I'm, 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 aren't really a yeah, thing they, they yeah. are that well they, they're they, they are starting to be after a long yeah and i'm not even current but, anymore i think yeah, i think I, I think i got to like I'm 125 i think i was at 125 when he was doing the hula hoop training with the witch yeah oh, I'm, I'm past that yeah but. that's i think that's where i'm at so yeah you didn't even get to the Jim Bay stuff, man. <laughs> Don't spoil me. Anyway, <laughs> what's the next question? Uh, uh, let's see. What we got here. All right, let's uh, move on to some. Uh, let's, let's do some fun ones here. I, I saw. A, I saw one that I thought was good. We got uh, at the destitute from Twitter. What character do you think you would get along with the best? And if you could join one crew, what would it be? Sorry for asking two questions. It's okay if you only answer one. We can answer both of these. Answer both. Yeah. Don't, be, yeah. don't, don't be a little uh <clears throat> i feel like uh just... what'd you say bro i feel like uh <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i i don't know eagle you should go first on this one i want to hear your thoughts on this uh, what character from if from anything um i don't I mean, know I, I could go i could go All real right. quick just to because yeah, I'll, fo I'll, I'll focus on the second question really like what crew would you join i just want my crew to hold me down so like i could you know i could join the straw hats they're always gonna hold you down i could join the black bulls they're always gonna hold you down you know like i just i i want you know my team to be diverse and i want them to you know have my back you know hey who are you hey, saying hey, what's the answer bro you could join fairy you could join fairy tale no yeah. don't do that bro <laughs> No, 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 they no, probably no. hold you down too, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I didn't get past Edoras, that's because they suck. I, I quit at the I, I quit at the S class mage exam too, so I quit yeah. at the, that, that one too, I think. Yeah, yeah. actually, I did get past Edoras, and I was the, the next yeah, one, you right were, after you that. Were, and I, you, yeah, let's uh, not, whatever the next one was, they were on like some kind of fucking let's not mechanical uh, not shitting on shitting on fucking spirit talk because that could yeah. <laughs> anyway, who, okay. what team? But but the crew, but the crew I'm gonna go with actually two life crew. Gene Ryudan. Just not nah. really. That <laughs> no, would actually be I'm so <laughs> sick though. It, w it would be, but they're not gonna hold you down. That's yeah, <laughs> wait, 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 they're wait, not. Wait, I mean, I mean uh, wait, they're up. They're up there. That's, oh, that's, that's sick. The that's sick, yeah. dude. Well, that's the thing. Like, you're supposed to hold yourself down if you're in that crew. Like, yeah. that's you know. But but yeah. So no no no. I'm, I'm gonna go with straw hats, man. How, how could you? Okay. Not? That's too much fun. I'm gonna put Sanjay in the walls of Jericho next time I see him. <laughs> yeah, getting the heavy point. <laughs> hey, I, I thought you were gonna say night raid. But night Ray would be <laughs> night Ray would be cool. Um, no, they die too easily. They, yeah, right? like they, they're not really there for you when it when it matters. <laughs> you kind of just die alone when you're on that team. But they'll hold you down. I mean, sure. I mean, they'll me try. personally, <laughs> if, if I could join one team, like obviously you want to say the Straw Hats, but I mean, like I'm joining Toman, bro. Tokyo Revengers, like uh, I would much oh, rather. Yeah, I, 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 if I could join the team, I would, hour. I would be, I would be in, I would be in the Tokyo Manji gang, baby. Draken and Mikey. Mikey can. Yeah, but they Draken. won't let you in. You're too soft. No, stop. <laughs> hey, I, I'll run that bitch first of all. Be like Mikey, who? Yeah. Hold on, bro. Hey, Mikey, it's been a good run, okay? But the guy you have is to here. Get the atomic one shot kick. <laughs> <No. God. laughs> <laughs> Toman for sure. Um, the character that I would, or, or uh, Eagle, do you want to say which crew that you would that you would rather be in, or we talk about characters oh. we get along with? Man, Toman is such a good pick. God damn. <laughs> hey, there's no rule that says well, you can't pick the same. I tried thing. to. I uh, said go. I said go ahead, go first. You could pick the same thing damn. too. But. I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be the top two in that bitch because I'm not doing <laughs> coming too, man. We're gonna have to take that motherfucker. Dude, it's, it's, oh, such, a, it's such a good crew, man. Like never, I don't think I've ever seen such like 
and and like it's hard not to say the straw hats are on the same level or, or any other team yeah. i just but me personally i don't think i've ever seen better written camaraderie in a series the than, characters than are in, so strong yeah than in than in tokyo revengers so it's like Man, Chifuyu is that guy. Chifuyu, bro. man, dog, and and Chifuyu. and even like even like Baji, you know, like in the background, yeah. like 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 the like yeah. the most, like really holding motherfuckers down, but like he, his he, he deserves an Academy Award for that yeah. for that for yeah. that lie that he told, bro, because it's like hell no. yeah, but he goes like, down for the squad, yeah, bro. That's, yeah. that's... He said Chisaki, <laughs> not Chisaki. Why did I say Chisaki? He, he, Chisaki, Chisaki. Chisaki. It's because it's close. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but he yeah. said it's time. Yeah, motherfucker. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I think um the the character that I would best get along with now that you brought up Toman is Draken. Cause Drake yeah, is dude. What a, a cool guy, dude. What man. a guy, dude. Yeah. He's Hell just yeah. a dope ass dude. He's definitely and he'll my hold you down from the always. Series. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Bro, I told you I'm growing my hair out and styling this shit like Drake. I would bro. love to see it tattered on the side of my head. And I everything. would love to see it, bro. If you do that, holy I'm shit! I'm supposed to get a dragon tattooed on the side of my head. <laughs> yeah, you're you, uh, in you, prison. Yeah, yeah in prison. <laughs> <laughs> when he's bald, <laughs> full bald, yeah. There you go. Ooh. Oh man, hell yeah, that would be incredible. Um, but yeah, the best characters. I just want somebody's about to get lit with me. So like Zoro and Vanessa, you know, like yes, all the, the, all the drunkards. Vanessa. Yeah, like I want Zoro and Vanessa like with me. Like just whoever's about to get lit and party with me. Zoro might get too lit and cut me though. So I'm gonna think. Have I'm we go ever even seen Zoro like fight drunk before? No, he doesn't, he, no doesn't he doesn't get drunk. He doesn't get drunk. He yeah. says that like in, in, when he's in the drinking contest where he fakes it in Whiskey Peak, like a swordsman never lets himself get actual like, you yeah. know, lit. I just did this off of I'm that swole at yeah. drinking that I could take my 13 cups and, and they're like, <laughs> we, we, keep, we kept adding harder alcohol in their shit every time. And then, <laughs> how's it? Hmm. Oh, that's good. I mean, side bar. Like, my metabolism so hard, body. You don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's Vanessa. I mean, if you're gonna be in bra and panties and drinking with me, then uh, <laughs> sold. That's the pick. What were you gonna say, wait, wait. Ashes? Yep. Who's the uh, two sidebars? Is there a drunk martial arts style or with sword with like with sword style ever been depicted? I can't really think. Of one. Uh, untap, so. untap market, so. untap, untap market. Let's... Oh, um, control also, notes. Who's the uh what's the the, the octopus swordsman in Fishman Island? Oh he owes he 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 owes you? He owes you. Oh he yeah. owes you, yeah, yeah. He owes you. Yeah. He was drunk as hell fighting. He yeah. was All right. All right. one piece Good does spot everything. Eagle. Oh. Oda's the Oda's the master. Oda's like the fucking like uh what's the dude? He's got who, something. What's the dude who does the Simpsons where they've done everything? Uh fucking uh, <laughs> Xavier Matt or something. Groening. Yeah, Matt yeah, Matt Groening, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, who's the who's the drunkard from Fairy Tale? I'm sorry, this is, I don't mean to go back to Fairy Tale. What what, what the hell is her name? Kana. I don't, I don't care. Kana. Remember. There we go. I sorry, think I it's Kana. To... I think it's Kana. Yeah. She and Vanessa are very similar. I was just yeah, I was just thinking about that. Parallels. Um, I don't know. The character that I would get along with the most is probably Yuji Itadori from from uh from Jujutsu Kaisen. Either that or Deku. I probably he's holding you down. Yeah, yeah. Yuji 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 will be like just really cool to like kick it with and like. I don't know if we get into trouble like that's probably going to be fun but i mean like from from a personality standpoint i feel like me and deku would get along great man um, i just want to yeah. now i just want to change my answer to their squad because i love nobaro i love yeah nobaro, i love megumi like I yeah could, i could hang out with their whole team yeah. and fucking gojo they're all tight like, yeah yeah <laughs> Gojo's i mean you ain't got one. no worries with gojo bro like <laughs> Like, <laughs> no, and Gojo's funny as hell, man. Like, yeah. hey, we're about to surprise him. They all think you're dead. You're about to jump out this box on their ass. Yeah. You know? like, <laughs> dude, fucking Gojo's hilarious. Yeah, bro, for sure. Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, I don't know. Yuji Itadori or, or Izuku Midoriya Daku for me. That's a great right, question. Well. That's a great question. Yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, you just were talking about some Jujutsu Kaisen, and uh, I believe this next question happens to be about Jujutsu Kaisen. All and right, let's do it. We have one from, uh, what is this? Uh, at Hey Lucky from Twitter. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> now that Ghetto is pretty much dead, any thoughts on the possibility that Mahito is the incarnation of Ghetto's cursed energy? First thing I like to say is the ghetto's not dead. I've been there just the other day. You know, like it's, it's still alive. It's still very much a thing. Jesus, oh in the ghetto. God. Didn't know what the my ghetto. life could be. Get in the, the ghetto. <laughs> hey, my, the birthday, ghetto. My, 
My birthday party's supposed to be in the ghetto next week. <laughs> I'm not going. He, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. <laughs> That I will to, not be there. I'll send going, you a card, buddy. We're going to 20s <laughs> next weekend. Get ready. No, <laughs> no, not me. That's Maybe right, hit up, up. Kami. <laughs> Wildin'. <laughs> but uh, well, I don't welcome know. Welcome to the Negrohood. Well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kiko. With, go ahead and answer that. Okay. All right. Um, I want to say no. I want to say no. I. I was. I. It, it would make sense if the answer is yet like there's really no wrong answer here because it could go both ways i think but i i think that um this brain is its own thing you yeah. know i, I wouldn't want to say that because it jumped into ghetto's body that it the ghetto's will was imparted onto this brain and he wants to serve ghetto's will but it would be t okay if, if that if it goes that way i would like to see ghetto's body being such a strong like fucking just how strong it was with a shaman how strong as Juryoku was where it actually takes the brain over and he basically becomes ghetto again that like, would that, be so sick that would be the well, only way he, i would want it wasn't he asking if if mahito was the incarnation like, of his curse. Incarnation, incarnation of ghetto's oh, curse okay. energy yes okay yeah which um that makes sense like too, yeah. along, along the lines of what he was saying like i would like to see ghetto's cursed energy be so hard body that he like snaps back to who he is like now nah, fuck this shit you in my body cuz yeah. i'm on bumpers <laughs> so, oh yeah, i'm like on your Edo heels Tensei. like like my real yeah. Yeah. you know like yeah. it, no this this shit ain't strong enough to hold me like right. i'm yeah I'm the real deal, and I'd and I'd like to think that Ghetto. We're still McNeil. I'd like to uh, I'd, I'd like to think that Ghetto's character isn't over. Um, I mean, like he, he says it in the prequel. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I know that this is kind of like tangential to to the question, but uh, he says it in the prequel. You know, like this isn't over. Basically, I can't remember the exact quote verbatim, but like he's standing there, like you know, like half of a guy, and he's like, "Next time, I'm about to fuck y'all up," or something like that. You know what I mean? So, him being dead, sure, but I mean, like. In regard to or, like the future of the story, like we're probably gonna see him again yeah. in one form or another outside of like this body with brain coon in it. So, or maybe it is, you know, since he does fuck with curses and cursed energy manipulation. Um, maybe it is some curse that he was cool with that is like a super last resort plan. Like, yo, if I ever get yacked on, you take my shit over, <laughs> carry out my will, and like. So, you know, he had lined up the whole time this brain coup what if it's a kite Ghetto, situation that is. yeah what if it's a kite situation really kind of reborn you know making himself reborn as a curse as mahito because that would make sense because Mati mahito acts really adolescent a lot of the time he's trying to learn his ability learn his power learn what he can do you can tell that mahito was just you know incarnated or whatever yeah. very recently yeah. from when the story starts so I mean, I don't know. That'd be that would be pretty. So tidy. Ghetto's brain gets eaten by like a high level curse, and then like birthed out in like a Phaedo Genesis style, like you know, Chimera Ant situation as like the new like kite Ghetto. I mean, <laughs> and, like a cursed I, womb or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah. That's, like Choso. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, that's and you could say that in a way, Ghetto like fears humans, and Mahito said he is like a human curse. Fears humans. Yeah. So like yeah. maybe. He, well, in a way, you would say he like he fears because like, Toji how whacks that ass. And terrible they can be. <laughs> so like maybe his intense fear of of humans and shit spawned, you know, I don't know the whole process that made Mahito, and then him dying at the same time caused his whoop -de -whoop, wham bam. Yeah, makes sense. To Mahito. It's kind of roundabout, but I don't know. Yeah, because. Uh early in the story where mahito is talking to um god what's the kid that dies that they uh junpei, he has a, junpei yeah junpei, when he's, yeah, yeah he's talking with junpei man yeah that's that was fucked up <laughs> but yeah he, he's talking to junpei and he's like okay we have natural disasters which also form curses because so many people fear them and think about them and they, the humans stew on these things and so like jogo is fucking you know a volcano uh curse you know people are worried you know earth, uh, earth curse i think is what they they describe that as and fucking hanami's a fucking you know nature curse and yeah. fucking they had he gave it to junpei too that fucking like squid they said people are scared of the ocean this was like the ocean curse and he gave him that squid that he was using or whatever yeah and then and then mahito well uh junpei asked him like 
what type of curse are you? And he's like, well, I'm a curse birthed by the fear of humans. Humans fear each other and fear, you know, this and that. So, you know, the human, the, uh, I'm a human creation. So, yeah, I, yeah. I like that. I, I, I really hope that that is... I, I just don't want Ghetto to be fully gone. So like he could be, he could be, uh, he could take over back his own body, or he could be in Maito. Either way, I'm good. I just, I, I like the character. Yeah, it's a good. That's an incredible question. Who, who asked that? Again, that was uh, Hey Lucky. Yeah, it's Hey Lucky. Yep. Yep. Hey Lucky. Good question. On Twitter. Good question. <coughs> hey, hey. All right. <clears throat> let's uh, let's move on to something a little more light and uh, completely uh, completely off the rails from what we were just talking about. Okay. We have at anonymous player. Why Toriko doesn't continue as an anime. Why what? Why Toriko doesn't continue as an anime. Because it's trash. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry, Blue. Um, sorry, Schnooty. Um, but, uh... GG. <laughs> no, uh... uh I, I'm about I don't, to go dude, cut this fucking... bottle of liquor I got right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, right? honestly, like, I don't know. And, and yes, Toriko has, like, in my opinion, the best introduction for a main character in any series that I've ever seen. Um... This is the best parody. I don't know how far I don't know how far the anime got, honestly. Um Same. I didn't I It's Toy anime. It's Toy? Yeah, that's Yeah, why. it it's is, toy. isn't it? That's oh why. dude. Yeah, no, it's out of here. I mean maybe. Easy answer. Yeah. Hey, if if your anime is made by Toy and it's no longer around, blame Toy. That's safe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a safe bet. <laughs> that's a safe bet. You know, if it ain't Dragon Ball or One Piece, you know, like, Yeah, you there's know, no it hope. Might, it might not survive. There's you know? no hope. <laughs> Hey, it could it almost killed One Piece. <laughs> Man, no, there's no way. No, no, four kids is what almost killed. Yeah, one four piece. kids is That's what true. almost killed it over here in the West. Yeah. Anyway. And and no, Toy, I won't. Don't get me wrong. Toy tried to kill fucking One Piece for about the last five years. <laughs> but they, they're just unsuccessful. <laughs> they can't do it. It's too strong. It's too much of a Goliath. You can't kill. You could you could literally make stick figures and people are about to watch that shit. <laughs> they, got the, they got the hands on the neck and Toy, toy Piece owners just like. No. <laughs> as long as as long as the voice you actors shall are there, not pass. As long as the voice actors are there and canon shit is happening, yeah, stick figures could be that show and motherfuckers will watch yeah. that shit. And it, I, I'd be man, it's like if anything's gonna get anime only to go over to the manga, it would be something like that. But I bet you there's still some diehard like anime only that are like, man, this shit, this stick figure shit kind of getting good though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you remember them old Newgrounds videos where you had them stick hey, figure battles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Let me. They had a name. Shao, 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 Shao. Yeah, yeah. Shao, Shao. Yeah. They're badass as shit. I that just shared a thing that was tight, like that. Bro. With some, yeah. Some Hell some yeah. Fucking, with those clothes fighting and maybe. Dude, and remember, some, some, some uh, remember the stick figure uh, Counter Strike movies that they used to make on Newgrounds, bro? Where they're oh, was, like, Newgrounds stick, was the fucking shit. If you are not playing Counter Strike, bro. Oh my god, I can't remember what the fuck it was called, but that. Interview too. Anybody who remembers that out there, hit me in the comments, bro. The stick figure Counter Strike videos went crazy. Any of you who might, oh, might not yeah. be young enough to remember the uh, fucking Shockwave, shock, shockwave player videos, you know, Flash, that kind of stuff. Yeah, of we course. had Newgrounds, yeah. fucking Shockwave. Yeah. Zhao Zhao, fucking Ninjai. Everybody, everybody remember Ninjai? Also, shout All out right. to anybody who remembers the Power Fusion forums, where which, which, which was basically like a nexus for like stick figure, like animation, like creators and shit. Like, yeah. anybody who remembers back that shit, day. holler at me. Yeah, that's way, I mean, way I, back I played, in the day. Uh, I played free Final Fantasy Tactics on it. They had that Armor Core Tactics on there, which was, you know, just oh, like- Wait, are you, talking, yeah, wait yeah. are you talking about Newgrounds or, po or Power- On Newgrounds. Oh, on Newgrounds. No, on Newgrounds. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah, like, ain't hey, nobody talking lit, about Power bro. Fusion, bro. I know that. That's <laughs> no, so, no, that's no, so we're obscure. We're talking about it. That's yeah. Yeah. All right. Hashtag bring it back. Anyway. Yeah, sorry I don't have, a, sorry I don't have more infamous, uh, anonymous players. Sorry that I don't have more. Yeah. That we don't I have mean, more info on Toriko. We just, we just didn't. We didn't fuck with that. Neither, 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 neither do they. Don't it. worry. <laughs> <laughs> they were. They, they were <laughs> Maybe try collecting all seven Dragon Balls. You should figure it out. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's. Uh, I'll move on to. Let's. Let's get some tie-ins here. Uh, we have at Manji, one thousand or ten thirty-one. We'll say it that way. If you could create your own kind of energy system, what would it be and why? I already know the answer to this question. But <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me just let me just answer this so you don't have to real quick. Wait, wait, all of you doing all you say it on the count of three. One. Wait, what wait, 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 wait. What's the, <laughs> sorry, sorry, what's say the question again. If you could create your own kind of energy system, what would it be and why? So this is like from scratch, like not like what's your favorite energy system? This is if you could create your own. That is what it sounds like. Yeah, that's true. I'm just kidding. So, but, no, I'll so, just give kind no. of a general answer and say I think mine would largely be based around like physical combat and enhancement yeah okay. through 
either regimented like training and exercise or even maybe like bionic enhancements. So, so like, like the breaker. the breaker, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, That's, hell yeah. And, that, and, that would honestly that. like and, in the real and, and world. And why would that be? Why would that be? Yeah. Why does that appeal to you? I don't know, just because it's hard body. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no funny shit going on. I'm and just going to punch you right in the fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Straight into the point. To this day? To this day? To this day? Yeah. I just want to answer it in this way that um, Nen is the greatest energy system, hands down. No, no question. Not close. Doesn't matter. There's no argument, no debate. STFU, don't come at me. Uh, <laughs> Snooty might, Snooty might have picture, words just, for I that. Just, I just picture that being said by Kanye West just now. I mean, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let you finish, but Nen should have won. <laughs> I mean, I'm cuter than Snooty, so there, there's that. Oh, no, but... <laughs> shit. But he's Snooty the super is... cutie. Haven't you watched yeah, his well, video? The super. He's the Snooty uh, cutie. Anyway. All right, all right, all right. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's similar to like... Um, how I feel about real rap, like 90s, not only 90s, but like real rap, you know, like I feel like if you don't appreciate like the pioneers and like the, the, the people that, that paved the way and like laid the groundwork for you, I don't feel like you should be, you know, I don't feel like you should be a, a, a part of it. You know, like I, I feel like you should sit it out if you if you don't know where it's coming from and like, you know, all this and that. So that's the thing. Like, I feel like I'm almost um I, i'm not worthy to come up with an energy system because none exists you know yeah it, 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 it does I just feel, feel like, like that kind of it, 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 it's i, I it's just it, it is what it is yeah you know uh we're clansmen with a c you know like uh, <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> We're clansmen with a C. The only type shit. of clansman you're allowed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah clearly. Anyway, um, but but yeah, that's but that's it's, it's a similar thing. It's like I feel like I I, I don't want to make an energy system because I feel like it's too hard. Like the bar yeah. set too high for me. Yeah. That 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 if I but if I if I was gonna say an easy answer, then yeah, it's it's the breaker energy system. Yeah. You know, like that's you know you just beat ass you got defense you got offense you you hone you know like um what do i want to say like concentrate your key into different parts of your body yeah um but 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 that's really it like coming up with uh i can come up with whatever ability i want but it has all these rules and that it has to exist inside of yeah yeah that i have to follow you guys have to, everybody has to follow has to make sense you know like that's that's so hard like man oh, then yeah. is then is just too damn good but yeah but yeah um well, we got two two votes for breakers so far we're about to increase the breakers uh, reader count okay. yeah hopefully geez I mean, yeah maybe, I mean, maybe that'll trying. make maybe that'll have it come back sooner in some kind of way but i don't know man um get a, get a season three for uh for those people who asked about it earlier yeah for sure um for those for those who don't know i'm writing a comic book and i actually have a couple different energy systems inside of my story and just like a brief rundown of it uh would probably be exactly how i would do it just because like i've been thinking about this energy system for like six years and i think that it would be really cool to have so basically there's two energies there's one that comes from the cosmos um and then there's one that comes naturally from you know whatever planet that you live on so and the the, the energy that comes from the cosmos is in the form of this cloud of particles um, we'll just call them Z particles for now. And basically, uh, you know, the life on the planet, the sentient life on the planet can evolve to a point where they have a special gland inside of their brain that can filter these particles through it. And when the particles enter that, that, that gland and are filtered through, once it comes back out, it's manifested in a variety of different ways, like elementalist, necromancer, pretty much any kind of Final Fantasy RPG you know, mage that you've ever seen. And, and and that's just different ways based on who you are as a person innately uh, and, and what that gland allows you to manifest that energy as. Um, on the uh, opposite side of things with the energy that comes from the planet, it comes from the core of the earth and just goes 360 degrees out into all of nature. And then you can harness that to basically become the enhancer class from Hunter Hunter. You can enhance natural abilities like healing, you know, strength, stamina, um, even thought processing, um, you can, you basically have full control over your body in whatever way you want to train it. So 
it's uh it's a cool it's a cool dichotomy because then on, like on one half you have a faction of people that are evolved in a, in a way that allows them to use this clan to be mystics you know or mages and then on the other side you have people who are not advanced that far but still have a way to fight back against them obviously mages are overpowered but that's like kind of the whole point of the story is is the resistance you know from one side to another so i think that would be super cool um, it's it's kind of like the traditional like deep you know rpg style you have mages melee warriors yeah straight up but other if, if if not that i would have the breaker energy system for sure that's too hard of a question come yeah, up with a lot, an energy a lot system of well yeah. let's uh well, you guys talk about or just key also... or just key or chi or just like anything you know that's not i mean like if if i could choose an energy system to be real in the real world it would be nen just because like it, it's the it's the most balanced you know what i mean it's the most grounded like just because you have like a large mana pool doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to win you know what i mean like you can have yeah. all of this dps but you know i could say like you know if i rip my pinky toe off and then do a backflip and then you know like Kurapika is the example. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you're all of a sudden you, you're trapped in a box or something. You know what I mean? Like, there's all these conditions that you can add to it. That means it doesn't matter how strong you are. You know what you I mean? still can so, die to a rose. You can still die to a nuke. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I feel like that would be because it's up to you you know what i mean and how you use it you know what i mean like it when when it's when it's something you're like, right when it's something like chakra or when it's something like you know literally any other energy system it's just the motherfucker with the most comes up and then what can you do you know what I well mean? so you know it you know it, 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 raw too but i would want all them bitches to be documented in the book so i know what the fuck i'm getting no matter what fruit it is because i don't want no raw yeah. ass like or i don't want no bitch ass yeah jacket jacket <laughs> <laughs> like jacket, I don't want none jacket of that. fruit is buns fam hey, like hey. none of that zipper zipper would be kind of cold-blooded you've like, seen part five right bucciolati fucking stand that might be cold <laughs> that's it might be tight well, but uh i'd have been big mad if i was kaku i just want to say and jai burst most of me the whole time i'd have been <laughs> yeah, so mad i'd have yeah. been i'd have been so i would have been mad. Big mad too like i'm a fucking goddamn giraffe are you kidding <laughs> Fuck! Like, and it was a banana how did i eat a banana and i became a giraffe i thought i'd become a gorilla at least you yeah. know like and i you know get the hard body one shot people but i'm a fucking giraffe <laughs> oh so speaking of your customization and, and is... speaking of the customization and then we have uh at favorite anime <laughs> favorite anime mo at twitter asks normally nim users are uh, and then user abilities are built around personality traits if you could choose your own nin type what would your nin ability be holy shit not that you guys haven't talked about this before <laughs> no and if yeah. you say specialist you're a dork you know, so <laughs> <say that. laughs> they've never talked about this before ever uh another another thing that we did talk life, about so. another another thing that we did talk about in the discussing you know superpowers in anime tie-in episode if you guys want to check that out i'll probably just put that link in the we description all made our own hatsu. we did all make our own hot suit um and i won it's time to make your own huh? man. i won did you <laughs> i think we we'd probably just go with whatever class we decided our, our hot suits were from well no. i mean like no because like i feel like i feel like for the sake of you that, guys base it off of how you felt you would fall into the class yeah i mean like i just i just did it off of the hisoka personality test you know what i mean so I feel like I would be a manipulator for sure. Um, as far as like, hell yeah. yeah. As far as far as like what my ability would be, I don't know. I'd probably splash you with some fucking holy water, and now you're my minion. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Was there it's anyone like that in? No, like I'll probably have, have like a mind control. Um, yeah. I mean, that's I don't know. Uh, I don't think there was. Oh, I, was, I was curious. I was thinking about well, it. Well, there's a, there's a couple different kinds of like subsets of like manipulation inside of the story. So you have like the the light influence, and then like the the activated like. It's, it's hard for me to like re to, to remember it off the top. Love of my lover head, or not? Is that instant what it's called? lover? Uh, instant lover. Or she kisses yeah. you, and then you're and then you and then she manipulates you. Yeah. Um, Pito did some weird shit with like brain manipulation, but that was like more like a physiology. I mean, a loomy like, sticking the needles in you. That's that was manipulation. Whatever yeah. he. However, and then Shalnark has the antenna. It's basically like all. Yeah. It's basically just all. Yeah, poke. yeah, yeah. It's Shalnark like, it's like all yeah, poking yeah. shit. Like it's just like you got to poke somebody with something, and then you know. I'm, I'm sure if you, you really sat, like, yeah, huh? I'm sure if you like really sat and thought about it, I don't know. I'd probably. I mean, if it's it was the, if it was the, if it was the real world, I don't know. I'd probably put it in my food or something. Cook for cook for people, and then they ate it, and I manipulated. Dude, that'd them. be sick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a food anime, but it's like actually like super sick, like fighting shonen shit. Yeah, and you're like. like Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That, I've watched that. It's 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 really hard. It's really hard to think of of a manipulator ability on the spot. But 
Uh, hey, um, you could I have been lazy and picked an answer. Sorry. Well, I um, <laughs> I'm enhancer. See, <laughs> if, if any of us if, if, before if, he picked if, an answer. <laughs> If if any of us are enhancers here, it's Eagle. Uh, but he's more of an emitter, I want to say. But uh, yeah, either enhancer or emitter for sure. You're, you're the loudest and the and uh, you know and the head, oh! most headstrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck with me! I've got my shit. Whatever. <laughs> I am a transmuter. I'm a transmuter through and through, tried and true to the core. Especially at work, I just lie to people for fun. <laughs> It's it's and I get bored easily, and so if I'm not lying to you to make it fun, I'm bored, and so I gotta send people off. It's hilarious, uh, especially when you work in an office and you just get to like watch them from like you know an aisle, and you just watch them just walk over here and just like look dumb and then walk away. It's hilarious. So <laughs> anything <laughs> I have heard hey, these stories. I work, I, I work with a Daily. lot of dumb people. It's too easy is the problem. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, I you know I, for, for the government. Yeah, well, no, not, not that's that's my that's my second job. Uh, I'm a I'm a secret agent on the side, uh, but <laughs> you do look like the transporter. I except for ex, ex, except from about a foot taller than him because that's the tiny man. Oh, uh, Jason but, Statham short. Yeah, yeah, he's oh. like five seven. You know, I don't know. Whatever, oh. but, uh, I don't even think the transporter is is a, is a special government agent. Actually, I think he's no. he's just like a hitman or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, and <laughs> I might look like hitman too. Driver. <laughs> Oh. I might look like Hitman too. I don't know. You yeah. know do, 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 you, do you heal, do you heal <laughs> from any bald white guy? Like, probably pretty much just fit the description. But uh, do you heal from leaning up against the wall? Anyway, sorry. Is that how it works in Hitman? It, that is how it works in Hitman. Yeah. God. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I know no one's ever played the game. It's okay. I li I like being a transmuter in real life, and I like being it in Hunter. I couldn't think of a transmuter ability. It was really hard. Like, I really, really, really tried to for our, our Hatsu or Superpowers episode where we were choosing our Hatsu, and um, I came up with a Conjurer ability, uh, and I love that ability, but I'm definitely not a Kurapika type. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not... I'm, I'm not... I'm not... I, I won't say that I'm not smart enough. Um, I'll just say that... <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, I, well, and you know that's not true because even though I'm I'm not I'm not as articulate as you, I beat you in every argument we have. So uh, all all debates you've lost in your entire life, every they just didn't sound one. as good. Yours just sounds better. From that's, you that know, means I win. So no, no. I, I yelled the loudest. I yelled the loudest, so I won. I I. I I imposed the most will, so I won. Everybody else was scared to disagree, so that's how I You won. decide. All right, two people, they're both wrong. One person sounds the best, one person's the loudest. Who wins? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, the bald one. That's <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. I, I had a, um, before Eagle goes, um, sorry, before you go, I just yeah, wanted to. Yeah, Eagle didn't choose. I know, he didn't, he didn't go yet. I just wanted to say this since we were on the, the subject of transmutation. I, I, I thought of a transmu uh, transmuter ability one time that I thought was really cool. It, like, centered around, like, conjuring a cloud so like i don't know if it would be transmutation if i'm like making a cloud or if i'm conjuring a cloud i don't know if i'm making my it can cloud. be it i think i think it can go either way but you conjure a cloud yeah. and then you transmute your nen into acid rain that pours out of the cloud and then i conjure you know a pain packer style jacket so that i don't get melted were there were there like hybrid sick. nen users yeah, I mean, you could you, like not innately. Everybody's one. Everybody's one class innately. But I mean, like depending on how far away, you know, the next class yeah, you're yeah, trying yeah, to control like the, like, is, you have a certain bars, like yeah, level, yeah, okay. level of affinity for it. Yeah, but, pain yeah. packer was transmutation. So Tra you pain go. packer, but he conjured the coat. Um, but it, he conjured yeah. the coat, and but and pain packer was transmutation. Yeah. Yeah, the the sun portion of it was yeah. the transmutation. Yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but I just thought it would be super cool to do like acid rain out of a fucking conjured cloud. I thought that would be sick. But yeah, go ahead, Eagle. Sorry. I was just going to say, uh, I think I'm not sure exactly like if the question might mean this, but I guess if I could pick any net ability I'd, I'd like to take from any character within the series, I mean, it's got to be it's got to be the, the, the Buddhist Dava, right? The hundred type, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, yeah, the Yakushiki no. Kanon. Yeah, pa! <laughs> Boom! good old Netero. Yeah, but uh, like, I mean, he has I'm the a, bad, wanna, most like, bad I, story. Like Kiko said, I'm a, I'm a hard, you know, I'm a, I'm a lot like an enhancer, so I want like a hard body fucking quirk, man. Not quirk, but goddamn it, like a high, <laughs> like you know, karmic man, loop, Finks. Like I like if you I touch your fucking, if I if I can touch both of your bare ankles within two seconds of each other. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> 
<laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, here we go. If I if I can touch both your bare ankles within two seconds of one another, then I then then you take all the damage that I receive, and I'm gonna just beat <laughs> the fucking shit out of you. It's all hands. Let's go. Yeah, hey, you like, how do Captain you... Ginyu? No, he's gonna do Captain Ginyu. Pow! Punch a hole in my own chest, and then go over and grab your ankles. <laughs> no, I gotta grab the ankles. The nun abilities can be oh. so ridiculous. Like if I pull a strand of hair out and make a necklace with it and swallow a Lego. <laughs> then you're, you're like, fucked, buddy. <laughs> you just wait here, Mister. Yeah. What was the one you said on the on the on the episode? You're like, oh, if I fucking say my name backwards three times and do, yeah, do three backflips, then you die. Yeah, you I fucking Rumble I don't even. I don't. Even, I don't even remember what it was. But it's just like that's like just like why men is like so. It, it's so easy to joke about it because like the conditions are. Yeah, so but ridiculous. it's great. Yeah. <laughs> so like the fact that it was the fact that it's so ridiculous makes it like just way, way better. Yeah. It's just like it's not what you're expecting. Right. So, so right. this is actually another question just randomly for me. I'm just gonna ask this. Who cares? Eagle kind of already answered with this though, but uh, I was just gonna ask just because this question made me think about it. What is your favorite nin ability from the series? Hakuare. Kite. Knuckles uh, APR pot clean. How did how did you guys both answer so quickly? I'm like, <laughs> I mean, so one, like, of, one of them gave my answer. So <laughs> kite kites and inability is my favorite. I think. Crazy throttle. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, he always come out talking that shit too. I mean, like, yeah. I also <laughs> like, like damn bad not, roll. He's not, like idiot. I don't yeah. have any bad rolls. Like yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I also not to give mine so. <laughs> I also really I also really like Doctor Blythe a lot just because like in regards to like the real world like that's like like if i'm because i'll fight you with ko ken shu ryu like all that shit but then if i take too much damage i can bounce and then hit dr blythe you know what i mean so like that's probably the kind of fighter that i would rather be you know what i mean just someone who like used like you know basic or or slightly advanced and then techniques and just fought you hand to hand and then if i got too fucked up i could go hit a specialist <laughs> healing type ability in the background i feel like that would probably be the most practical in the real world for me but but I mean, like my favorite flashy moves are definitely Hakuare, and I also really like Hotel Rafelcia a lot too from Shoot. So, yeah, those those are all cool abilities. This it's too hard, man. That's yeah. such a hard question. It's like you know, do I want something like Dragon Dive that looks tight and just fucks everybody up in the whole area? Like yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> you know, like uh, or do I want something like fucking what's his name, Saru, uh, the monkey? Saru. Uh, yeah, Shariu. where it's, he's got he's or no, got, no, no. Shariu got, is from Juni Juni Tyson. Um, yeah, no, it's Sayu. It's, it's Sayu. 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 That yeah, is right. That is Sayu. right. Where he's got where he's got like uh, monkey here, monkey see, monkey do. Yeah, uh, the hear not, see not, and speak not monkey. Yeah, each yeah, one yeah. hits you and takes one of your senses away. Yeah, <laughs> like fucking, all right, buddy, uh, pick your favorite sense because you're losing yeah. the rest. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna change my answer. What you got? Okay. I'm gonna change mine to. Benny, bro, all my subordinates, they oh, swear yeah. loyalty to me. And if they die, I get their shit. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, that's Give pretty. That's, Benny's fucking yeah, shit. That's pretty crazy, dog. Princess Ben. Princess. What the fuck? Prince Benjamin. <laughs> yeah, Prince, Prince Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah, that's yeah. super cool. Too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wasn't even thinking of fucking shit past the anime. Uh, Camilla. Uh, Camilla shit is broken. You yes. can't die. Wow. You can never die. Yeah. Like. Well, no, that's no um, the beast, isn't it? If you die, the cat—that's her nen ability. That's not—that's yeah. not her her beast. That's that's her nen ability. That with the cat with the tail, uh, that sucks fucking life and then gives it back to you of the person. Have we seen what her beast does? Her beast is the one with the nipples hanging off the tree, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the big titty beast. Sentence is out of context. We haven't seen the big beast. <laughs> Yo, we haven't seen Peter, Benjamin's Twitter, Twitter, Project Benjamin's Marga, big titty beast. <laughs> I thought mm -hmm. Benjamin's was the one with like the crazy mouth and the arm. Benjamin's like, is the one that is always just like perched on his fucking yeah, shoulders perched. like yeah. some fucking Look, thing. And we have never seen what it does. Togasi, let's fucking go. Come on. <laughs> please, please, please. Please. We, we beg Jesus of you. Christ. We beg Bro, of you. I don't like, I don't, I don't even want to. Let somebody else draw it. Yeah. No one, no, no, one wants to, no one wants to appreciate Bungie Gum. 
I mean, bungee gum's cool, bro. Like, like, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not his Soka. Bungee gum and bungee gum is the premier net ability of the series. If, if you want, because you get the most time with it, and the most like ways that are used, most applications of it. You know, like he, you get to see, like. Bungee gum is like the perfect example of how flexible Nen is where you can and it's up to you, obviously, like you got to be, you know, come up with an ability that's not like stupid broken, of course, because it's not broke. Like bungee gum is plain ass regular fucking ability. It's it's broken if you're a hand to hand fighter, though, because he can apply it on defense, too. So like if you if you punch him and he blocks you have bungee gum on you so like that's that's, that's yeah. fucked up that's that's also why i like transmuter in general is yeah. because it's 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 one category away from enhancer where it's like i don't want to be just like the meat shield that runs in and gets blown away i don't want to be a <laughs> uvo gun you know like yeah. i don't want to be the enhancer <laughs> but i want to be somebody who's got high physical hand-to-hand ability but yet i still got a nen ability that's versatile and can do stuff you know yeah. when you bring a shovel to the to the fight because you know you're gonna catch a body yeah that's just her peak is a fucking thug for that <laughs> uh the, the favorite anime mode that's julius that's my guy julius good question bro yeah yeah right. julius uh, cool well we're running long on time anyway so that it's is just, true it's not uh we're, we're gonna go on the one that's a little more solo on itself all right we, we, we got a couple that are solo actually so we got uh Subject Igor, we really need your opinion on the best mothers and fathers of the anime and manga world. It's not a question, it's a demand. Do with it what you will. That's I love a, y'all. That's a tie in topic. <laughs> that's a whole episode. Well, you gonna promise that to him? You gonna uh, promise that whole episode? No, fuck him. <laughs> wow. I know, that's Lenny. That's I mean, Lenny. I think it's, Lenny. As as I think it's Lenny. I don't know. As far as fathers go, like, there's who, not many, like, who, who ain't gonna be in it? Yes, there is. No, let's let's let's, 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 no, let's, let's answer the question. Let's answer the question <laughs> yes, for is. what it is. Yes, there is. There's many good ones. Like, um, what are you talking of, about? We fucking. There's a you got lot a of big ass dads. wall scroll on the back right there, where there's mad dads out of your fucking out of One Piece that you could pick from. Yeah. Like, you what know, dads. So do they have to be physical, biological dads? You know, like because it's like I'm <laughs> I'm picking Tom or yeah. Corazon yeah. or Shanks. Yeah, but well, Luck, You know, like. Yeah, I he to look. You can't I mean, pick Belmare. Like, you can't pick Belmare. Like Belmare is not an option. You know, like uh, Belmare, is, I would say is an option. That's not. But their, she that's actually not like. Mom. I don't know. That, yeah, she actually. I, I, I don't know Belmare. if I would. I would know if I would say, Tom. Tom's all right. Tom's all right. But I'm talking biological dads. There's not a lot of. No biological they all dads. Abandon their children. Um. Yeah. Oh, and one I feel like I have one. I feel like, like I have one like that. I'm like not remembering. Yeah, that's like a really actual... good. Answer. I'm sorry. You per- you non progressive mother. It says mothers too. Thank you very much. That's why I said Belmere. I mean, Belmere is a, yeah. is a mom. Okay. There we go. Sorry. But not <laughs> yeah, biological. Yeah, Belmere is older. But she's not a biological mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, then pick some biological mothers. It's I mean, do we got to Sanji's mom? I mean, Sanji's Kushina? biological mom. Yeah. Kushina. Kushina. We had this on a tie episode. Oh. uh Gohaku from Last Sayuki, does he count? Mm. <laughs> That's, yeah, mm. oh, both his parents. Yeah, yeah. Um, Speaking of tie-in episode, we have a, uh, uh, a character with mom. Character Trisha with Elric. A name. Trisha Elric held the same... held the held, held the family down. Well, you know, Hohenheim's bitch ass took off. You know, yeah. like... from that same series. There's another father that's pretty good. Who? What series are we talking about? FMA. Oh yeah, yeah. Maze Hughes is the greatest man of all time. <laughs> yeah, Maze Hughes is great. Um, yeah, that's hard. I'd have to like really sit and think about it because Eagle kind of has a point. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, that's so, like that's. A, I mean, to be fair, that's like a theme of anime is that like parents aren't around. Like your kid. Why do you think all these kids are out here fucking fighting for their lives? Yeah. <laughs> I know, you know, yeah. There's that's kind of shown in right. Like they I don't think... have parents usually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so. Um. We're trying to say Gang is, is a good father. That's what we're trying to say. Oh what yeah, Jing, Jing best dad. Name. Shout out to Mina my guy. Mom. Shout out to my guy Gambino from Berserk. <laughs> what was your question, Eagle? No, or, it's he's not. canceled. Yeah, that's no. Not I said, what was the? Uh, I, let, I'm a, I'm gonna give a shout out to Inko Mitaria. Mitaria's mother. Her name's Inko. Mm-hmm. I never. I guess I never remembered her name. No. Yeah. She's a good mom, you know. She yeah. cares about her son. She's, a, she's, she's oh, probably yeah. the best mom there is, low key. 
and oh, wow, in like a modern in like a modern story you know what i mean like a you know with those like yeah, slice is, of lifey elements to it this is actually yeah. really I, i'm like trying to think myself and this is hard as shit <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good question yeah mitsuki bakugo let's go hell yeah, yeah dude. disciplinary woman oh yeah she'll um, beat your ass Fuck up on that grade card. She I know down. we're I know we're missing. Hey, Decker's, exactly. Decker's mom is good. Decker's mom. Is good. I know yeah. that we're missing some like picks here, like from of like really good examples of parents that like obvious Grandpa ones. Grandpa Gohan. Like, Grandpa Gohan, sure. Piccolo. Yeah, Piccolo. Piccolo. Yeah. <laughs> At least not biological. Piccolo, best dad. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't say biological, so we don't need that shit. Yeah. I don't know that I got it. I got to think for a minute. That's, I mean, that's... Chi Chi, honestly, even though Chi-Chi. she's like, no, you don't get to go fight. No, my husband gets it. to go whatever, do whatever. But your bitch ass is staying home and doing all these fucking math problems. And uh, I'm about to just hold the house down, even though my husband keeps dying. This motherfucker can't stay alive to you know take care of the family. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know. That's good. I don't man. like Chi Chi because she held my guy Gohan. Don't what even about... get me started. <laughs> By not letting him go out never and fight. <laughs> Yeah. What about yeah, 18? <clears throat> what? what about 18? 18 is a pretty decent mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's going to hold you down. Yeah. <laughs> um, more so than the husband. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad that I'm like drawing a blank on. I know that I'm free. I know we're missing a couple people, but it's a good question anyway. Sorry. I, I, I hope. Well, we, uh, you I hope tie, we, tie, I, tie it up so for the future, maybe. Yeah. I, 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 I also said Ichigo's mom. I don't know if anybody heard me. Yeah. Right. I, I heard that. I actually yeah. appreciated that one. And his dad. Yeah. Both and his of dad, them. too. Yeah. 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 I love his fucking dad. That has been some of the hardest I've laughed at in yeah. the beach. <laughs> good morning, Ichigo. Flying <laughs> drop kids. Uh, drop. Yeah. <laughs> is that Sheeran? Is dude. I don't remember. I don't it's remember. Name. It's like Shirin. I- I- Ish- Ishin, isn't it? Ishin, Ishin, yeah, Ishin, Ishin, yeah. yeah. And he'll yeah. fucking, like, the episode when he comes back and he's like, You're late! And mwah, kicks him. He's like, Dinner's at seven in this house. Did you forget? <laughs> oh, my fucking God, bro. Hit him with shit. the Komoha, Konoha shampoo, like the little spinning <laughs> yeah, back. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Komoha oh. hurricane. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, I hope that I hope that I'm answer. Not, I hope that answer is good. I'm mad. Wait, I, I, got, I got one more. Unofficial dad, Mike guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got <laughs> one. Actual biological parents of Aladdin, uh, Solomon and oh, Sheba. Oh yeah, dude. They they gave not only their lives, they gave a galaxy, a world for Aladdin, and gave yeah. everything. Oh my God! Him. Shout out Hachimaru's dad. Oh yeah, Hachimaru's oh, yeah. Uh, you yeah. know mechanical dad. Yeah, <laughs> he's like test tube dad. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, shout was... out, um, shout out, uh, sister from Black Clover and the grandpa from the yeah. church yeah. as well. Yeah. Sister Lily, yeah, yeah, sister Lily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, real shout out to what the fuck's his name? What's his uh, what's uh, Zora's dad's name? Oh, Zach, Zach, yeah, Zach, Zach's Zach was, was, a good, a good was dad. that guy, definitely, <laughs> definitely yeah. a good dad. Yeah, that's a good question. I hope that's uh-huh. that. I hope that answer suffices. Zax uh, and Zora from Black you, you thought Clover? he said Zoro, didn't oh, you? Yeah. I thought, yeah, Zora, I thought he said Zoro. 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 I'm like, Zoro's dad is yeah. I'm like, what the no, fuck no, are y'all? No, Zora, Zora. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Zara. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. We're gonna we're gonna go with one that's a little more a little more on the serious. Let's side. do let's do like let's do like two more and then wrap it up. So we got uh we got one from at Bloodstone two three one nine. Okay, I got one. What's anime slash manga's content creator problem with representation? Not that everything needs to be black or other races or sexual orientations, but how come they don't have a large supply of black and brown characters who stick with the story and evolve with it? Uh, because Asians like pale skin, as far as I've heard. I don't know, like, and that's I mean, what I hear. I mean, like, they don't... We like this like, one at Kiko a lot, or not Kiko, well, but uh, Noxie. We, we, well, we, we well, kind yeah, of talked about this on the Evolution of Shonen Storytelling episode that we had, too, with Sensei Lula, hey, you know what I mean? So, like, it's like... I feel like they're doing better. They're a little, they're a little bit more self-aware. But I mean, like Sam too, right? Uh, yeah, Sam. Yep, Sam was there too. Anime Summit. Yep. Sorry, Sam. But uh, but uh, yeah. I mean, the, you, you're seeing a lot more representation now. Um, there was a lot more misrepresentation back in the day. But I mean, you just have to think about it. Like, think about what it's like over in Japan. It's like 90% Japanese people over there, yeah. as far as like, oh, yeah, so it's like they're not like really seeing 
you know, a lot of a lot of mixed races over there anyway. So it's like I don't really have too much of an expectation for it. Of course, I'd love to see it. But I mean, like, is there there are there are manga cub that are, you know, a little, a little bit more aware of it. Like you have um, like Oda, for example, that has an entire, you know, society of transgendered people in in, in one piece. And you have, um, you know, uh, Kishimoto, My hero. Kishi, well, Kishimoto, even in Samurai 8, the first yeah. character you fucking see is his black female. You I know, thought you were talking about the land of lightning. Land of Light is all black. The, the, yeah, the and, hidden yeah. and the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. You know, yeah, you got the Land of Lightning. You got, you know, Kishimoto in, inside of Samurai 8. You have Daruma's master is a is a obviously a strong, you know, black female character, you know, that's in like, you know, a leadership role. You know what I mean? So like, hopefully we get to see like more of her. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember exactly what her story is, but she might be out of here. I don't know. But I mean, like you see that they're, they're, they're doing more. Kohei's doing more stuff too. Like... You got Rock Lock. He's kind of he's kind of weak, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Bubble, bubble as girl, as you're bubble not girl. More Choco loves from fucking Chum bubble girl in oh, the nice. uh, bubble girl in the manga of My Hero Academia. Like before we got a splash page, I don't even know if she's on a splash page with color, but like she was light skinned or like black. Like now she's she, blue. Now she's like blue. You know, so I mean, was she always supposed to be blue? I don't remember. See, but. that's always questionable too. Like if you're if the character is blue skinned or green skinned, that. I feel like they're, you know, Piccolo's cold. black. Yeah, exa Hashtag. exactly right. <laughs> Piccolo's I mean, for sure black. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But then you also I mean, have like, in the, but then you also have like, but then you also have like, I'm pretty sure, have, sure Piccolo's wearing Tim's at some point. So, I mean. but, but then you also have like Mr. Popo, and it's like, what are you doing? Oh, you know I mean? that's, so it's that's like, well, and uh, General Black even earlier. Yeah, General, General black, black too. Yeah. Yeah. That's we're gonna, that's fucked. We're gonna up. exclude characters yeah. like Popo and Choco Love from fucking Shaman King. We're not gonna Jinx from Pokemon. Ugh, yeah, 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 Jinx used to be black. Now she's purple. Just like Sambo uh, stereo, just like Sambo, Mr. Bojangle stereotypes. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, um, but I that's that's what I've always heard though. Like it's always been associated with like the fairer your skin is, the higher class you are because that proves that you don't work outside, you don't work in the fields. You know, like from Eastern yeah, I mean, that's culture. Really, yeah, I mean that's Western too. I mean, like that's where the term redneck comes from. Yeah, so it's like sure you have you, you know you have you have shit like that but i mean like my expectations Project Manager, po political podcast my my expectations aren't all that high you know what i mean because like just it's their, an isolation their, in this country yeah their society yeah. their society just doesn't like i mean i'm, I'm good for what they're we getting get. there they're yeah getting i'm good for what we get obviously there's like an evolution to it that we're, we're seeing more rep and better representation as time goes on but I, I mean it's just you just like your expectations can't be that high in my opinion so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to fucking my hero i don't know the art i don't i don't know the author's name i can never remember his name orikoshi kohei orikoshi kohei but i was very impressed when they have the character who's oh, is it is it magna 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 yeah. is a, magna's a trans character and they have like a literal like a whole story they have like a literal like little, little bit backstory about, yeah a little backstory about how magna is a trans character and they like enforce pronouns for, for magna and i thought that sure. was like it was very unusual for a for a manga for me like especially japanese culture is not i don't think not that progressive in that matter like yeah. even like homosexuality in general is not that progressive there but like that was like a very like yeah, and you have you know you have characters like Bulat from Akame uh, from Akame that is true. who's gay, yeah. um, and then I and, think and I think he's, also in I he's think, like straight gay. It's not like they're like oh we're we're kind of like lovey well, dovey. Yeah, it's not stereotypically like gay, like what you would paint gay people. You know, as yeah. is, he's he's you know like hard body, like toughest dude out yeah. here, bro, very broy. You know, that just like, happens to be gay. But he also likes. It just happens to be gay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's. Yeah. Um, and then I think also well, inside of My Hero Academia, like you have. Where... What'd you say? Jojo's. Well, and then you got stuff like Jojo's, where it's like, I don't know. None of them are gay. The but... homoerotic tones are a big part of it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a rocker theme and it's like kind of like you know. yeah and then i think also inside of my hero academia there's another trans character um inside of the pussy cat dolls was that like stated that yeah the guy, i thought there was that, another like, the, one yeah, the guy of the, yeah i don't like, remember the like, character's the big, name like, but i know you're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. like the the bigger hard Earlier. hard body or one um i can't remember yeah. i can't remember the name but i'm pretty sure yeah pretty I know sure that's a trans, i'm pretty sure that's a trans character too but dare but yeah. i mention uh puri puri prisoner i don't remember that <laughs> Purry Purry Prisoner from uh, Purry, One Purry, Punch Purry, Man. Purry, 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 Purry. When he took the phone out of his fucking butt, bro, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's prison for you. That's prison for you, baby. Like... You like know. Two oh, how you right? gonna have like you at least gotta Clorox wipe that bitch or something. Hey. Like you can't. You put it right up to his right face. Your Swear to God. Hey, bro. that's the two yeah. most important things in prison. You know, booty yeah, and the a... phone, right? Like you gotta get the jack while you're in there, right? <laughs> they just wanted. They wanted you to know that he had some real shit to say. 
Any, Booty is oh more important God. than water. Sorry. I, I, anyway, <laughs> oh, man's <laughs> butt. <laughs> don't, 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 don't even. Please well, don't do it. I tell him I like you. Another, <laughs> I want you. <laughs> another another future Italian episode could be probably be on maybe some 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 representation episode. In, in, yeah, in man. Manga, right? I mean, that, that could be a whole topic. Yeah, man. But anyway. But yeah, I, I, I hope I hope that was a I hope that was a good answer. I don't know. I, <laughs> like, I, of course, I, I want to see I want to see more representation, but I'm not like I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. I'm just gonna see how it goes. It's definitely and, and Appreciate it as it comes. You know what I mean? Yes. But, oh, one more one more shout out to uh, fucking Michiko Tohachin, who has one of the best like yeah person pers pers of color and female characters in uh in, in an anime, which yeah. is very rare. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, so we have uh, I, I got uh, I, I got I got two more that are pretty similar to each other. So I'm just gonna start off with uh, where, where where did this go? I'm sorry, I'm like a piece of shit and I lost my lost my place here. Uh, oh, I know I remember what it was. If you could er erase one memory, oh sorry, this is from Lanky Lemon One. Lanky Lemon, shout out to Lanky Lemon. For my favorite story. question. Uh, yeah. If you could, if you could have your memory of any one manga erased, so you could read it again as the first time, what would it be? I mean, we're all gonna say One Piece. No, so I'm, say I swear different. to God, it's One no, Piece. I, it's got to be One Piece. Like it has to be One Piece. <laughs> but I just want to say a uh, my answer. answer. My answer is Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, sure. That's I knew you were gonna say that. Sorry, right. I, well, I would good. do it for One Piece too, but I, I would do it for One Piece too. But I'm, I'd do it for Hunter first. So. I would also do it for Hunter as well, but I, I would do it for One Piece. At the I'll drop of a hat. Man, at the drop of a hat. I bro. would do the breaker too. So I, I, I was going to say, I'll go ahead and say the breaker. Yeah, yeah. The breaker, the breaker, man, it just resonates with me on different levels that Hunter, it, it is, as much as I, and I always will say that my, the hierarchy is One Piece is the greatest ever. And then Hunter's, you know, a close second and then <laughs> fucking breakers a close third. And like, that's just how it is. Like, I just, I can't, no matter what I read, other than seems like Jujutsu Kaisen has a has a chance to like fit its way in there somehow. I don't I don't know how, but like the, the new that's, hunter. That's, 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 that, that's really yeah yeah. But I mean it's really early. But just something about the breaker just resonates with me. I mean it's just the fact that you have political aspects, but you have martial arts where these guys are above politics. They're above the government or. They're their own government. You, you kind of think of it in two couple different ways, you know, like because they're supposed to be kind of like their own entity. Like they don't get involved with, you know, regular geopolitical fucking, you know, issues. And yet they still kind of do. You know, they might appear in your house and just kill the shit out of you while you, you know, are sleeping. <laughs> and and that's that, you know. So I I don't know, like hand to hand, all the fucking martial arts, also politics. Also, you can get shot and die. I don't know, like those those like it just that story was so cool is it, to go through for the first it, time it's it's just like exactly like what i want it's like somewhere between like a regular shonen adventure which is really not at all but it's it's like almost like a school rumble but yet kind of not at all but it's and like then, and then it's also got like and suspense and then, thriller tones to it suspense thriller tone yeah it's just there's a lot of different you know you get like a lot of different things just mixed into it. It's just the perfect storm of everything that I love personally. So I I'll go with the breaker, even though the right answer is one piece. Hell yeah! Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna go you know a little off kilter too because I, I I'm gonna say something I'd like to go back and read again with no memory of it is is Tokyo Revengers. Yes, well, fam. That is like one of the bingiest series that I have read. I was I on the edge of my God, seat bro. the whole time. I swear to God. And it's like so hype. You're going through these fights and these arcs and you're like, oh, I shit, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. And then every time you go back to the to the present day, it's crazier and crazier. It's completely like yeah. it, it, you don't expect it any time. Like you're like, okay, what what is this? My, like it hits you for a loop every time. And it's one of those it stories where it's it's so like its biggest moments are like things that you're not expecting to happen and like mysterious aspects to it that like even on like a second reread it's not going to hit the same because you already know you know what i mean like it's kind of like a movie with like a crazy twist at the end it, it yeah. doesn't have like the same kind of like rewatch value as like something that's just like an adventure story or something like that you know what i mean because like all of its biggest moments are like what it's been hiding from you the whole time you know what i mean yeah. so i would definitely love to go back and do Tokyo Revengers again with no memory of it for sure because that how shit about, so hard. But yeah, how about just if, one arc? How about just like one arc of something real quick? I would have to say Gracefield House. Like, yes, I just say one. Yes, Gracefield arc House. Grace, yeah. Grace, if I if I could just pick like one yeah. fucking arc of anything just out of a hat, like Gracefield, man, that shit. In Promise Neverland, also, yeah. Also, yes, Promise Neverland had me on the edge of my seat the entire time that I read that fucking arc, and I was just like. 
how do I, you know, like how, how does like I, I I don't know like the, when you're looking at like the premise of the story and it's like okay it's just like a, you're, you're reading about a bunch of fucking ten year old kids or whatever and you're like I, I don't know man that that it just captivated me so much and and yeah. so much suspense so many fucking so high much stakes. worry so much butt so clench much, so much yeah. tension so much everything or the first season of uh, the first season of Hero yeah that's good too yeah if I could go back but yeah I mean. Really, if you could, if you could let me just like, I don't know, wipe my memory of One Piece and then watch it to all the way to the end. Like if you, if you waited till the finish of the series and then let me do it, that'd be ideal. Yeah, straight up. Because I mean, good, just to question. go back and experience these moments again would be fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah thanks. Constantly shout out Negima for taking you on the wildest ride that you never expected it to be. But yeah. Well, great, great question. Thanks, Lanky. All right, and we got, we're going to finish off with something nice, simple, clean. The Otada Hikaru of questions. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite or most enjoyed manga right now from oh, Ita- Itachi Dioshito? Oh, Itachi's our guy, bro. Yeah, Itachi. Well, I don't know Twitter. what both of them are going to say. No, you don't. No, you don't. You, you want us to say Jujutsu Kaisen, but that's not it. <laughs> what's your answer, well, you Eagle? Guys say, what, say what your heart is. Go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. go with the baldy. Excluding first. excluding One Piece, obviously. Yeah, you kind of have to say excluding One Piece because. Yeah, I mean, almost all questions are excluding One Piece. It doesn't matter. You just got to do it. Uh, Jigo Karaku. Jigo Karaku has been so fucking good, and it's so, you know, on our last, not on our last episode when we guest starred, uh, me and Noxy guest starred with the Worst Generation podcast. Yeah. I, I don't think I got out enough you about didn't. Jigo Karaku you about didn't. how about how it's just like I love how adult the story is, but yet feels still like a shonen, but is a sane. You know that's why it's out of Jump Plus. Yeah, it's, it's like it's it's like the perfect mixture, you know, and it doesn't feel like that's probably what I would recommend to adults who have not ra- read manga before and maybe if see, you, you have to see anime if you think you're going to read a manga i would i would think first but like if that's something that i could recommend to like another adult somebody my age to read jigo karaku would be it there's so many fucking man you just don't see a lot of things coming um you have characters that you grow to love in a small amount of time and then shit changes uh you know it, they don't stay with you forever it's some people that you thought would you know there's there's a, a a lot of sick ways that they implement ninpo that that's different from yeah, other ninja stories it does not stories. feel like any other ninja story yeah no, and, they, and it's no. handled so well yeah like yeah. aesthetic blaze you know like he's gabimaru is killing himself to use it basically you know he has a fire trait i'll just i won't go too much into it but you know his his like innate element is fire but he basically lights himself on fire and fights in a fiery blaze like that Super shit sick. man yeah 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 i jigo karaku is got it just just a, the the elements of there is adventure but the adventure is um kind of like it's, second it's not, to the mystery yeah exactly where you're going through this and, and their adventure is forced upon them where it's not like i want to go on this adventure myself it's i have to do this or yeah. i'm going to so die there's also a goal too yeah and there's 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 stakes just right from the beginning from the first fucking chapter it's yeah. like you see what's on the line right away and yeah. it's easy to get you know interested with the main character the main character is so fucking one good, of the strongest yeah. first chapters that i've ever read yeah, in any yeah. It's, it's it's grounded right away. It's not like the naivety, like the, the naive, like young, youthful, like let's go on an adventure yes. and find yeah. the world. It's That's oh it. shit! It's like I have to go out and do this. It's, yeah, it's, it's yes. duty. It's, it's duty. It's not like fucking yeah, whimsy. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of mysteries that you know, I got current probably like two weeks ago, and uh, I felt like the pacing's so good that i i may have find found out about some things that i have not yet and i'm i'm, I'm glad that i haven't you know but you're like i, I don't know like I, 
recent developments have opened the story, I guess. That's what I'll say. So much more that I thought like it, it would be like uh, a shorter running manga, but recent developments have now changed my outlook to think, okay, we can go 300 chapters on this. We could go more chapters than that. I thought it might be a 150-ish. Yeah. Uh, but but no, it's it's looking like a 300 plus now with, with new developments. And and so that's good. Like I, th- I thought I would get a lot of answers by now that I haven't. That is great. I'm happy about that. You know, like it, it's super interesting. Highly recommended. Hell yeah. Um, I mean, my favorite ongoing thing that I'm current in right now is Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, but I mean, what I'm enjoying the most right now going through it for the first time is a story called My Home Hero. Uh, it's coming out of, I was talking a little bit on the Worst Gen podcast the other day, but um, it's coming out of, it's another one that's coming out of Kodansha. But it, it's, it, it's a, it's a really butt clenchy suspense thriller. It's basically about, um, are you reading it, Ashes? No, I just oh. like the, I just like those terms. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's it's, it's, it's ba- yeah, it's basically it's basically the story uh, about a dad who's got a daughter, and she's dating you know a scumbag, and the daughter doesn't think he's a scumbag. She's like head over heels in love with him, but he knows that there's something wrong with him. She he overhears one day him talking about some shiesty ass shit like that he's gonna do to his daughter, and he knows that he can't really like go to her and like convince her that he's bad so like the situation escalates and he kills the guy and then now he's like on the run from the police and from and the guy was like connected with like you know like people that are like looking for him and like it's just like it'll have you saying one more chapter for until you're until you're fucking caught up with it so it's it's, that that sounds like one of my favorite manga it's it's so sick dude it's 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 really well written and it's and it's it's just like one of those nail biting like edge of your seat stories that i'm sorry what's that one called my home hero my home hero Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Go ahead, Eagle. All right, All right Eagle. Well, <clears throat> for me, it had to be either between between Doctor Stone or Tokyo Revengers. Oh yeah. I mean, Doctor Stone's been hitting for a while. I've been loving that going through it, and we don't we don't cover it on the cast, but I've just been I like reading it in my own personal. We time. almost that's, did. That's a series yeah. that that I. Uh, that I enjoy personally because the the science aspect of it I've always really loved just because like the explanations are really cool and yeah. uh, you know I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like I could become a little amateur scientist through Doctor Stone. <laughs> yeah, two hundred IQ anime and the battles like are weirdly like like there's no real like battles not a lot of the time anywhere because they're all like kind of a bit tactical because they have to beat them with science type shit yeah yeah but it's just the plot too right now is, is going crazy and tokyo revengers is going crazy right now and tokyo revengers is also going nutty have you read the newest volume kiko no because well i started going through it because we had a bad translation the yeah. first translation that yeah. came out was so ass those translations was really- <laughs> were really fucking bad bro i read all nine chapters they were no they were i read ter- I read like three chapters and I said I can't do it. I'm yeah, it's not, it's it's not right. It doesn't feel right. No, yeah. I feel like they, I'm reading like they dead ass were like, Oga Boga. <laughs> <laughs> like I swear to God, they were like, yeah, it's it's literally like caveman grunts. grunts. It's, it's literally like, caveman grunts. For, yeah, you, you heard my story about the fucking infamous ghetto ass Chinese translations of fucking Naruto with the fucking hand, hand spear for shuriken. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hand spear. Hand spear. Oh. Anyway. That's questionable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's 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 some words for it. Yeah, but that was uh that was that was that was a great fantastic conversation. That was an incredible man. conversation. Thank you guys for asking us these questions. We hope that we answer them, you know, uh, adequately. And we uh and we, we gave you some pretty good entertainment for the last hour, hour and a half, two hours. I don't even know how long it's been, but um but thank you guys, seriously. We wanted to we wanted to find a way to, to be you know to interact with you guys a little bit more. We hope that this, you know, was fun. And if you ever have any other questions, I don't know, we'll do it again sometime in the future uh, if you guys want us to. Or if you have any other questions, just hit us on Twitter, hit us on Instagram, hit us on Facebook. And uh, and, and if we start, you know, amassing a, a whole bunch more questions, then we'll just do another one of these episodes. But that's going to do it for this episode of Tangential Tie-Ins. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching if you did. Um, smash the like button if you enjoyed the, uh, the video. Smash the subscribe button if you're new to the Project Manga podcast. And you can hit the bell icon next to subscribe and we'll chirp y'all when the next video is live thank you ashes for coming around and uh and, and giving us that interview there reading the reading the questions off social media keep doing your thing keep being great we'll see you guys for the uh bonus tie-in episode that we're going to do in place of jump this week we don't know exactly what that's going to be yet but 
whatever it is, it'll be fun. Um, and then Jump will be back in like two weeks or whatever it said. But uh, also, join the Discord. We'll have the link down there in the description for you. We're giving away these figures, don't forget. Jet Pistol Luffy, Cold Blooded. All it's Might. pretty fucking Cold Blooded. All Might going crazy. And then we got a Sailor, uh, Sailor Moon figure that will that we have to if you if you want to see them like you know like what they actually look like uh we have it on like twitter and facebook like the actual like figures themselves in like image form so you can like see exactly what they look like but yeah join the discord and then we'll uh we'll do that giveaway in the next couple weeks but i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here i'm your host noxy it's your boy kiko eagle ashes we'll catch you all next time